Hello! Welcome to the Going Through Grades vlog. I am a self-taught adult beginner recorder player and I am trying to work my way through Trinity College London's digital grade exams for classical recorder. So far on this vlog I've covered all the various elements that I need for my grade one and that's scales and arpeggios and the three pieces of music that I chose for the exam. I've spent a few weeks practicing it all and a few days ago I decided to bite the bullet and film my video entry for the grade one exam. I've sent that off to Trinity and I'm just waiting for my results. Now, understandably you're not allowed to share your exam entry video on any social media so what I've done instead is filmed another version in exactly the same way that we can watch together and when I get my results we'll find out if my approach was a good way or not to tackle the video. The video has to be all in one continuous take and there can't be any evidence of editing. So I'm starting off my exam video with scales and arpeggios. You can choose whether you want to do these at the beginning or after your pieces. I thought I'd get them out of the way. They went okay, as well as scales can go. They were pretty smooth. You have to do your scales and arpeggios from memory. You can't have the music in front of you. So I put my music stand at the back of the room with the music on the chair next to it, just to make it apparent that I couldn't see anything. And here I am fetching it so that I can read my pieces. I managed to get three books of music in completely the wrong order and had to fumble about to get them where I needed them. The first piece I pay played is Daphne by Van Eyck. Um, I have muted the audio from this for this video because every time I play Daphne in a YouTube video I get a copyright claim and I would hate to further anger the gods of copyright. Um, if you want to hear me play it I have left it in my last vlog. I was fairly happy with how I played it. With this one, I wasn't sure whether I was supposed to play it as exactly as it was written or whether I was supposed to add some ornaments and my own style to it a bit more. Uh, I went with the side of caution and I just played it as it was written. I've got a feeling that's probably going to count against me, but I really don't know. I think there are quite a few marks available for general performance of all of these things. And I definitely feel watching this back that I just stand still and I don't play expressively enough and I think that's something that I really need to work on in general. Also I noticed that my hair is completely covering my face and for the exam you're supposed to make sure that the examiner can see your music stand, your hands and your face at all times. I think I do move my hair out of the way later on. You're supposed to make the transitions between the pieces of music as smooth as possible. The second piece is Elgar's Land of Hope and Glory. The musical instruction for this is to play it proudly. I don't look very proud. But I think it's quite a tricky thing to play. It's such, it's such a big piece of music and to try to play it on one soprano recorder, difficult. I chose it because of the amount of slurred notes in this piece. I'm not very good at playing legato and it was something I wanted to work on. I don't know if I managed it successfully. I'll have to wait for my results. I did play it better in the exam. Consistency is a fickle mistress. And already I'm at my final piece. This is going to be Hotter first march for the rustic wedding. This is definitely to me the most difficult of the pieces that I chose.
This is the only piece that I wasn't familiar with before I started practicing for grade one. Um, and I couldn't really find a very good recording of it on the internet. So I'm gripped with a sudden fear that I'm playing this completely incorrectly, that I've just come up with some random version and this isn't what it's meant to sound like at all. I only started learning to read music a few months ago and while I can recognise the notes fine, rhythm is still developing, so that could have been completely wrong. And there we go, that's the end of the video. So, <laughs> weeks of practice over and done with in a five minute long video. I don't know what my fate is. I have got the biggest feeling that I'm going to fail my grade one exam. Um, and if I do, I think it might be because of first March for the rustic wedding. It seems so much harder than the other pieces for grade one. There's higher notes, it's faster, there's a swing rhythm. I chose it because it was difficult and I wanted to practice all of those things, but I think I might have shot myself in the foot. Overall, I think I got through the pieces okay, but I wish I'd played a bit more expressively. I'm waiting for my results and when I get them, you will be the first to know. Apart from me, I'll probably know first. But anyway, good or bad, I will be back whenever I get them to let you know. Hopefully it won't be too long. If you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I want to carry on doing these vlogs, whether I pass or fail my grade one or not. We will see. I've also started making um, videos about musically inspired artworks. I like to paint and draw and all that stuff. So there's all that happening on my channel as well. And there's going to be tons more recorder videos. So thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time and bye.